Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week one in college football. And right now, as we did last year, we're going to cover uh, some Seattle area teams with Troy West from allplayswin.com. Troy specializes in, uh, you know, West Coast teams and especially Seattle area teams. And the proof is in the pudding with him. Last year, he started off the season with some great calls, winners on uh, Washington and Washington State. Troy West, thanks for being back with us. Hey, thanks a lot, Pete. It does seem just like yesterday. I remember calling that Washington Boise State yes. game. Right out of the gate. You know what, Pete, these games that we're going to give you today, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be an outstanding college football season. I think I truly believe that we are the best service out there when it comes to college football, and nobody calls these area teams better than we do. That, so I encourage people to come look at allplayswin.com, and it's going to be a great season, Pete. Before we cover uh, uh, Rutgers and Washington State, give a quick plug for uh, for allplayswin.com and uh, brag a little bit about how we've done this past baseball season because I know you had a profitable season overall, right? We have no, we've been outstanding. We're nine and four our last 13 plays, Pete. It's been an outstanding baseball season, winning months every single month so far, April, May, June, July. So far in August, if we finish strong here, we will have a winning August. We truly believe that we're the best football handicapping site out there, Pete. So really encourage people to come take a look. We specialize in college football and NFL, and we know the Pac-12, West Coast area teams, I think we're right around even that 70% mark when calling these local teams. So really encourage people to come take a look. We're expecting big, big things this year. All right. Awesome, Troy. We'll start with Rutgers, Washington State. We're going to get some great advice from you and insights into um, these games. And we'll move on to Washington. Right now, Washington State is minus eight. Right, they're at home total 62 and a half, and that's up a little from 61. And uh, the total actually, I'm seeing, I mean, the uh, the side opened at nine and a half, so it's gotten bet down a little bit. I guess Rutgers took some money. Uh, you know, Washington State, you know, third year with, uh, with Leach and the air raid offense, they've got a senior quarterback. Um, and uh, the offensive line uh, should be improved this season as well. So in general, uh, you know, things are probably looking up for Washington State on the offensive side of the ball. Question is, you know, do they have really the talent to, uh, to justify these kinds of lines over teams like Rutgers? Maybe they do. My sense is that um, maybe a play with the over even at 62 and a half might be the right side here. You know, when it started clicking last year, uh, you know, 62 and a half was an easily surmountable total for Washington State games. So as of right now, that would be my lean over 62 and a half. Troy West, do you agree with that? And what's your take on this game? You know, I would have a slight play on the over, but officially on record, Pete, I am going to actually go with Washington State okay. minus the eight. I think this is going to be a double-digit win for Washington State. you got to remember, Pete, this is a team last year that played a really, really tough Pac-12 schedule. They did make it to a bowl game. you got to remember the chip that this team's going to have on their shoulder, the collapse against Colorado State and that New Mexico Bowl, I think still weighing on this team extremely heavily. It seems like just yesterday that they lost that football game. Rutgers is going to travel all the way from the East Coast and come out here. This game's actually being played in Seahawks Stadium, CenturyLink Field. It's going to be a packed out atmosphere. It really is. There's a lot of Washington State fans out here in Seattle. This is a, an annual game that they play out here. I think home field advantage is going to play. I love the fact that, like you said, the third year with the air raid offense. Rutgers, statistically right now, their secondary is one of the worst going into the season in college football. I think that's going to play dividend. I mean, an overfest. I don't know what to expect from Gary Nova right, and yeah. Rutgers' offense, so I'm going to stay away from the total. Right. I'm going to go Washington State minus eight. I see this game being like a 31-17 type game. So I'm going to go with Washington State minus the eight in this one, Pete. Yeah, Gary Nova is, is a bit of a question mark. He's definitely had some duds uh, over the years. All right, Washington State minus eight it is. I definitely trust you, Troy West, and your, uh, your rationale for that seems very, very sound. Thanks so much, Troy.